We're going to be using a Platinum Cooler Master V1200 power supply. God damn it, it's a big heavy thing. Yeah! This is the water cooling. This is the all in one Triton Randon Tech 360. And it comes with three different color coolants or pipettes. And we're going to be using the blue pipette. And what's next? Also, pairing up with the Core i6700K 1151 socket. What's next? Paired up with Corsair LPX 2666MHz 16GB of RAM, what's next? So in the left hand corner, weighing in, we've got the Crucial BX200, 2.5 inch, 480GB and a read speed of 550MB per second and a write speed of 530MB per second. This is going to be my storage drive for obviously videos and gaming and on the right hand side weighing in we've got the OCZ1 Vector 180 480 gig 2.5 inch solid state drive and this is going to be my boot up drive and it's got a read speed of 550 megabytes per second and a write speed of 550 megabytes per second. Wow! So we've got the Gigabyte Z170MX and this is a micro ATX motherboard and it comes with Type-C, it comes with USB 3.1, it comes with USB 3, so we've got up to 5 gigabits per second, up to 10 gigabits per second, we've got Express ports, we've also got M.2 slots, we've got a whole lot of features, this is going to be for gaming, this is going to be for video editing, what's next? So we've got the graphics card that we use in every build because we love EVGA so much. This is a GTX 970 and it comes with uh, two ports at the top which is for 6 pin. But the 1080 is coming out. I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be using that for VR. I'm going to be using it for video editing. We're going to be loving them CUDA cores. This has got great CUDA cores but it's in the right price band for all people out there that just want to have really good gaming or want a bit of CUDA cores. This is a GTX 970 and what's next? And I'm so strong, I've picked up the, this Silverstone PM01 and this case is piano finish so by the time I put it down I'm going to be really annoyed and have to clean it because I'm going to have all my smudgy fingers all over it but other than that, it's a really nice case. What's next? Oh, let's build! And if you're wondering, why have I gone through all the products I'm putting in this case and you haven't really told me anything really about it it's because what I want to do is build everything into this case with the products I'm using which will be in the link in the description down below so even when this video is forward, middle and at the end, you'll still be able to go to the link in the description down below and find out where I've got all these products from. But I'm going to be talking about how this case performed and how it breathes and is it cooled in well. And then there's going to be a part two. And the part two is going to be overclocking, some mad insatiable overclocking. There's also going to be like a novice sort of over sort of software overview of overclocking. And then I'm going to be gaming on here and I'll tell you about the temperatures and I'm going to tell you about the voltages and so on and so on and so on. But enough of that, let's get on with the build.
show you that it's all working and then I'm going to end the video there. So stay tuned for part two where I'm going to be overclocking, soft overclocking, hard overclocking and gaming and doing some video editing and showing you all like the tips and tricks of like um, obviously the stuff that I've got and talking about what uh, if I had any problems with the case because I'm not going to tell you now and if the case is really good, is the motherboard really good. See you in part two.